I want to explain the exercise routine that I talked about in my last video. Just an FYI, this will be one of the longer videos. I'm recording it and then I'm going to edit it and I'm going to upload it. I'm going to try to keep it on the lower side as opposed to the max of 10 minutes. But I talk a lot. Everything is based off of 30 reps. My year long routine that I have set up is going to be broken up into three month sections, which is going to be broken roughly into half. There's pretty much 13 weeks in three months. 13 times seven is 91. 91 is three months. So we'll do uh, five weeks recovery week, six weeks recovery week. That's just to break up the routines because I will be doing all these same exercises all the way through. But unlike the routine I did eight years ago, I will not be doing all six of those exercises twice a week. I will be doing half of them the first half of the week and the other half of them the second half of the week. So still hitting all muscle groups twice a week, but different exercises each time. Make sense? The first six weeks, we'll be doing uh, one set of 30. That's going to be basically me getting back in the routine. I'll be using little to no weights, um, like for squats, you know, it, with how much I weigh right now and how little I've worked out, I don't even need to use anything more than a, you know, broomstick because I have enough weight to push especially doing 30 reps. And you'll see me using pink and purple aerobic weights that weigh three to five pounds. You can make fun of me if you want to, I don't care. Everybody's gotta start off somewhere, and I know I'm not starting, but I'm restarting, especially after an elbow injury from doing the same stuff. Anyway, so we're doing one of 30, and then the next uh, half of that three months, we'll be doing two of 15. This section is designed to uh, be more cardiovascular, uh, fat burning and toning. So the only rest we'll be doing is basically taking a breather uh, and switching, setting up for the next exercise and going right back into it. The second three months, um, the first half will be three sets of 10, and then we're going to go to five sets of six. This set's going to be more toning slash building. And we're going to be doing a moderate version of the hit which is high intensity interval training. So we're gonna be doing moderate intensity interval training because I'm not training to be an athlete. I'm 44 years old. I have no desire to go compete in whatever. I just want to make myself look and feel better. But since we are doing um, higher weights and more sets, we need longer rest times for those muscle groups, but we wanna make sure we keep our heart rate up so we can keep losing the fat. So I will be doing some moderate cardio in between sets. And that could be running plays, jumping jacks, you know, Heisman's, stuff like that. So that takes care of that. The third section, uh, we will be doing six of five and then 10 of three. That's the cutoff. I'm not gonna start doing 15 to two and 30 to one, that's stupid. So anyway, six of five and 10 of three, and these will be supersets. And the supersets are gonna keep us moving like we did in the first section. So I will set up, you know, I think I have three muscle groups per day. So I will set up the first of each of those muscle groups and just boom, 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 and just go right back through them. Uh, by the time I finish the third one, that should be enough rest for the first one. And I can start back over, finish the superset, move on to the next section. And then the last set, I gotta, I gotta look at it, sorry. One second, the last, uh, three months, we're going to do, it's going to be a double. We're going to do three sets of five followed by one set of 15. Uh, so we'll do three sets of five as a superset, and then drop the weight and do the one set of 15. So we're hitting both types of muscles at the exact same time, which I didn't explain earlier. You have fast twitch muscles and you have slow twitch muscles. Kind of reverse what you think they're going to be. The fast twitch muscles activate when you are doing heavier weights and more sets and lower reps. The slow twitch muscles um, activate when you do the lower sets, lower weight, higher reps. Basically your slow twitch muscles are what you use for endurance and your fast twitch are what you're doing for weight and power. So that will be that there. And then the last six weeks will be the reverse pyramid. And after that, I will go back to doing more of a um, maintaining routine, which will probably be the two of 15 and three of 10s and probably throw in the reverse pyramid again because I like doing that.
So that's how the routine works. Now, take you downstairs and I will show you the exercises that I'll be doing each day. I showed you yesterday, this is my little setup. You can see it there. All right, so I got my exercise chart here and I'm just gonna show you using no weights. I'm gonna use these empty dumbbells and then I'm gonna use this piece of cardboard roller just to do the barbell stuff. And this is how it's going to break down. All right, so Monday, we're gonna start with our chest. We're gonna go ahead and do the bench press, followed by the dumbbell flies, or pec flies. And we'll finish that off with the incline press. Next, we'll do our shoulders with a military press, side lateral raises, and then a bent over straight armed rear lateral raise. We'll take care of our traps with the shoulder shrugs and we'll move on to our triceps with the kickbacks, skull crushers, and we'll move over to the machine and we will do a close grip tricep pull down. Tuesdays, we'll start with our abs. We're gonna go ahead and do just your basic everyday crunches, followed by the leg lifts or reverse crunches and pay no attention to my belly hanging out on my shirt. I completely picked the wrong shirt to wear today. Anyway, next we're going to shimmy over to our side and we're going to do our oblique crunches. And yes, obviously we're going to do both sides. Then for the back, we're going to do our wide lat pull downs. Then we're going to adjust our grip and do the close grip underhand pull downs and finish that off with the deadlifts. For our biceps, we're going to go ahead and do a straight barbell curl, a single arm full supination dumbbell curl with a twist at the end there hammer curls, and for the forearms, we will do a simple forearm curl. Wednesday is gonna be regular squats, wide plie squats, leg extensions, and then we'll go ahead and flip ourselves over, and we're gonna do leg curls. Move on down to our calves, and we're gonna do standing calf raises, as well as the seated calf raises. Thursday, we're back to chest with a cable pullover, Move on to the bench and we'll do a decline press as well as the decline fly. For shoulders this time, we're gonna do a front lateral raise. And as opposed to doing upright rows, we're gonna do behind the neck press and then we'll do rear shoulder flies. Once again, we're gonna hit the traps with the shoulder shrugs. And for the triceps, we're gonna do a wide grip pull down and then single arm overhead extensions. And then we're going to pull out the bench. We're going to do a lying down backhand or outward extension. I like to call them backhands because they look like you're doing a backhand. All right, Friday, we're back to abs. This time we're going to do planks, side planks, and then we're going to do the oblique or mason twist. For the back this time, we're going to do behind the neck pull down, the seated row, as well as the supported or the bent over row. For biceps, we're gonna do an incline dumbbell curl, a single arm concentration curl, and then we're gonna move on to the preacher curls. Then we're gonna just reverse our grip here and do the reverse curls to hit those forearms and Saturday back to legs. This time we're doing a front squat and we'll do some girly stuff with the cables. We're gonna do the cable kickbacks, the leg abductors, and the leg adductors. Uh, the barbell hip raises and donkey calf raises. The warm-ups that I'll be doing will be, you know, like 20-ish minute cardio videos from Turbo Jam. Yeah, I know, whatever, they work. Um, they have a 20-minute workout, they have a, I think, a 30-minute fat-burning workout, and then they have an ab jam, they call it. Uh, which I would be doing on the ad day, obviously. Uh, and then the recovery weeks will also be a combination of Turbo Jam videos. So, yeah.